I just got back the results from my testosterone test from the lab, but I also have my testosterone tested back in 2019. I've also significantly increased my cigar intake this year. I will tell you right now, my test levels have changed dramatically, but that's not the whole story. You're gonna wanna stick around for this whole video to see what the whole big picture is when it comes to testosterone and tobacco. Do you know why I smoke cigars? Why? No. Cause they raise your testosterone level. Smoking isn't as bad as I guess people say. I mean, there's negative side effects are very real, but it does increase your testosterone level too. I smoke cigars, right? Testosterone level is supposed to decline past 30. Had mine measured and I'm double the normal amount. I've read that uh, tobacco is part of that. I am not a health expert or a scientist. You should always do your own research when it comes to very technical stuff like this. A tenet that I live by is believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see. Edgar Allan Poe. This is not the first video covering what Andrew Tate and his brother has been saying that cigars increase your testosterone by 15%. There's also this video here. 24% more luteinizing hormone, which is the hormone responsible for producing testosterone. He does an excellent job of breaking down this study that was done by five different Middle East medical schools. But that study was not on cigars, it was on cigarette smokers. Essentially, the study finds that men who smoke cigarettes have a much higher testosterone serum level and LH levels, also known as luteinizing hormone, which is the hormone in your sac that creates testosterone. But the study concludes that they don't know if it's people with high testosterone who smoke cigarettes or if it's the cigarettes creating high testosterone. It's a chicken and the egg kind of situation. You know what can affect your testosterone? Beer. Beer is made with hops, obviously, but hops are a female part of that plant, which means they have estrogen in them. So if you're drinking IPAs, which are triple the hops of a normal beer, you're getting triple the estrogen from beer. I have a personal experience from this. When I was in my early 20s, I was working out like a madman, taking all the protein shakes, eating very healthy. It's pretty shredded. But one thing I could not get was a tight chest. They would just be soft. And that's because I was drinking triple IPAs like they were going out of style, even though they were like just coming into style. So you kind of want to avoid drinking beer if you're worried about your testosterone levels, or at least the IPAs. Also, stress. Stress can be absolutely detrimental to your T levels as shown by this study here. This study also notes that terrible sleep cycles can lead to much lower testosterone as well. And when you're stressed, you have trouble sleeping. And when you have trouble sleeping, you're stressed out. And both of those are just a vicious cycle of lowering your testosterone levels. But a good cigar can alleviate both of these problems. I have never been stressed out and then had a cigar and then was still stressed out by the end of that cigar. I'm usually pretty mellowed out, getting right in the head, you know? Another benefit is cigars are typically smoked in groups. This study right here sampled over 4,100 US veterans and found that antisocial behavior led to lower T levels. That camaraderie or a sense of belonging that you get when you have a cigar in a cigar lounge with a bunch of your friends or even on a V-herf can lead to a lot of great health benefits. Now, about my test results. In 2019, when I had my testosterone tested, my NGDL levels were 414, which is about right in the middle of the VA's recommended testosterone level. And the results that I just got back from the lab, only eight points above the bare minimum. Well, why is that? Let's take a look at where I was in 2019 and where I am today. In 2019, I was riding high on life. My business was exploding. I was well into that six figure range. I was living in a luxury condo in downtown Miami. Everything was going fantastic. And I was happy and also sleeping like a baby every night. And then 2020 happened. Just before the pandemic started, I had just bought a house, just bought a new car. I thought, you know what? Everything's working out. I can finally pull the trigger and do this. Unfortunately, my business was in hotels, restaurants, and events. All of those got wiped out. I went from cash positive to riddled with debt. And that carried into 2021 and 2022. So even though I increased my cigar intake and that may have increased my testosterone, all of those things coming down at me at once had me stressed out. I wasn't sleeping well. I wasn't eating well. I definitely wasn't happy. Even though I was smoking twice the amount of cigars in 2022 as it was 2019, if not three times more, it had zero effect on increasing my testosterone. But you know what they say? Laughter is the best medicine. And it's true. That's why you should check out this video, Why I Suck at Smoking Cigars. Hey 
Hey, look, I didn't drop my ashes time. 